my name is uh, Andrea De Stefanis. I'm one of the two founder partners of Kokai Studios. Together with Filippo Gabbiani, uh, we arrived here in Shanghai in 2002. We did a lot of interesting projects. We actually make around 350 projects. We started only in three person and now we are around 50 between architects and designers. We like the environment, we like Shanghai, we like the energy of the city. Uh, we understood that there was the need of quality project and also to take care of the old building and not only to build a new one. So we decided to stay here and actually then to build both our company but also our family here in China, in Shanghai. They become benchmark in different uh, business, like K11 is a very important project for us, really, the first art mall, the third mall that try to, to be different from the traditional shopping mall. But also J and Lee, the first hotel set in uh, Lilong housing. Also Shimao Plaza, a very important project in one of the busiest commercial streets of the world, that is uh, Nanjing Lu. I would say that in the last 20 years, the, the demand of, of the final user of the Chinese people changed a lot. For uh, Chinese people enjoy to go in, in a commercial space, in a shopping mall, there was a box, right? An enclosed environment. What we did this year was actually to break this box, the commercial space at the shopping mall, to be like part of the city, to be open to the city. And I think that this is the new demand also from Chinese people. I think that the Chinese people prefer also now not to be more connected to the city, to be more outdoor, to also because the environment is getting better. Chinese people travel more and more. They see now all the world. So the challenge are higher. So to still surprise them and still to give them innovative projects is getting more and more complicated. And I have to say that another very challenging part is that um, young Chinese designers are getting very, very good. So competition is more and more and more. We still have very, very, very optimistic about the future of our industry in, in China. And that's the reason also through these difficult years, uh, the company stayed the same size. Uh, so we, we didn't, didn't fire anybody or we, because we believe that we still have a lot of job to do in, in, in China.